Hello guys, in this tutorial we're gonna take a look at how to improve the performance of our React.js apps by using something call, called uh, code splitting. Code splitting lets us load components on demand and split up our JavaScript bundle into smaller files, which makes the application faster. All right. So let's go ahead and create a new React app with a npx create react app command and then go ahead and open up app.js and we're going to change this to uh, class-based components because that's how i'm used to working with react so let's call this class app extends react dot component then we're going to wrap the return here in a render method like that and now it's a class-based component and let's go ahead and remove everything between the div with the class name of app so we have to try it out let's say hello and yeah we got it running here on port 3000 all right we can also go ahead and remove the logo because we're not going to use that now in the source folder we can create a new file we can copy everything here from app.js. We're gonna call this component home.js. Can remove the class name. And let's just say home component. And rename the actual class and the export to home. We can also remove app.css from this file. All right. So now, as you know, to use the home comp component in app.js, just in a normal way, we would say import home from home. Then we just add it down here, home, and then open up the browser. You can see the home component is rendered inside the app, right? Now let's go ahead and open up the developer tools in Chrome. Go to network. Let's select JS here, reload, and we can see all the JavaScript that is loaded here. Now what we want to do is we want to split this up so the actual app component and the home component are loaded in separate files, right? So what we're going to do here is we're going to import something called suspense and lazy. And by the way, this is only available for client-side React and not server-side React. So let's go ahead and import some suspense and also something called lazy. Now instead of importing home like this, we're gonna say const home equals with then we're gonna importing import it using the lazy function, right? And then let's just say import oops home like that. And now we're not just gonna include a home component in a regular way when we're using lazy we need something called a suspense inside the suspense we're gonna add the components that we are lazy loading now the suspense take takes a prop called callback let's set this to a string let's say loading the callback is gonna be visible while this component is loading all right so let's go ahead and open up the browser now uh, oops lazy is not defined oops small l right there and let's try it again array right, components suspended while running but no fallback ui was specified oh sorry not callback of course fallback and now let's open. So you can see now, as you can see now, the home component is loading. And what's more interesting is we got this new new uh, file here from the network tab. So if we click that and open up, you can see this is the actual home.js file that is lazy loaded into the app, right? So now what this does is we're only loading the actual JavaScript 
into the browser when we need a home component. All right. So you can see how you could use this in various ways, for example, when using the router in React. Now the fallback here, as you can see, isn't really visible. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here to network and select slow 3G, hit reload. And now, as you can see, while the home component is loading, we're getting this loading ind indicator and then the home component uh, is loaded. Right, so that's what the fallback does. And that's how simple it is to use code splitting with React.js by using Suspense and Lazy. Now you can use this in various ways to improve uh, the performance of your application and only load files when they are needed by splitting up the bundle like this. So yeah, thank you. I hope you learned something. Bye-bye.